Guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the seventh episode of the 100 Beer Challenge, and today we'll be looking at the first African beer of the series, Vintaug from Namibia. Uh, you'll probably notice that my signature beanie is uh, not with me today, it's gone missing. And yes, I know that I need a haircut, should be done this week. And yeah, I do look like a bit of a tramp. But there we go, we'll go with it and we'll continue with the video, shall we? So, as you guys are aware, i like to give you a few facts and figures before I actually get to drink and review the beer. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it, shall we? I've got it with me today um, in a 330 milliliter bottle. Uh, it is 4% ABV. It's also available in a 330 milliliter can, uh, a 500 milliliter can, and also a 750 milliliter bottle. Can you imagine that? Four of them, you're going to be absolutely screwed, aren't you? Massive. So the beer, Vindhoek, it's actually named after the capital city of Namibia. Uh, it's actually produced by the Namib Namibia, Namibia Breweries Limited, NBL, based in Vindhoek, the capital city. The company and both the beer were actually founded in 1920, which makes it now 102 years of age. It's quite an old beer, in fact. So in 1920, when it was actually invented, uh, it was made by two German men. Uh, they happened to be bankers. Uh, they gave up their jobs and they put their life savings together to fulfil their dream and actually brewing and making a beer together. It's said that the locals actually think that this beer is that good. It can actually prevent a hangover. And I know of a few of these tonight and I will be the test of that tomorrow morning. I'm quite frail on a hangover, so I highly doubt it. So it's fair to say that the locals love their beer. Uh, in fact, per capita, they drink the sixth most amount in the world. Uh, they drink 95.5 litres per capita. Uh, if you want to compare that to the UK, us pissheads, we only drink 71 litres per capita. So they must drink a lot. I must go there soon then. Right then, should we crack on and actually have the beer then? I've already pre-opened it for you, you know. Saves you watching me struggle to open a bottle. It smells really nice coming from the bottle. I did give it a bit of a sniff before. Very fragrant. Lovely. Lovely and crisp and hoppy. Just as they described it on the internet, in fact. I really like the smell of that. Let's put it in the glass. Try and form a head. Come on, let's proper whack it in. Right, I've got it here, let's give it a wiggle. See, there's not much of a smell now it's in the glass. So I wonder how much taste it'll actually have. Let's find out, shall we? I struggled with the last bit there. Oh. Sorry, but, sorry lads. I thought I didn't film that section and I absolutely shat myself. But yeah, I've got it on film. Thank God. But no, that is an absolutely lovely beer. Not a lot of flavour, but very drinkable. Very downable. You could easily and quite frankly have about 15 of them and you'd be absolutely sound uh for the rating i'm going to give it an eight which makes it third place in the whole series uh, pardon me Whew, that was a fantastic beer let's try the last end of it shall we oh that is nice it's hoppy, but it's not overwhelming. Uh, I'd probably recommend this to, you know, people that haven't really drank much beer before that don't really know what they like. It's just a basic, but very good lager. Oh, that's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Time to rub it off on the board, I think. Actually rub off the beer on the board there. I just want to apologise for sounding like Darth Vader whilst uh, down in that beer. I can't help but being a heavy breather. Quite embarrassing, really. So here's a look at the chart again. As you can see, we've got the five there at the top. 
you've got uh, Sisk Lager there from last week, that's Malta, and Wind Windhauk from Namibia at the bottom, the bottom row there. It's filling up nicely now. We've got a few, you know, towards the top and the bottom of the chart. Seven completed, 93 to go. Stay tuned and thank you for watching my video. See you guys.